In Bamboo Studio, do you ever get unsightly scenes in your prints and don't know why? Let me show you the relevant settings, how they work, and what you can do to hide your seams perfectly. So in Cura, there is a setting under global, and if you look at the quality, there is seams and then seam position. So here we can see four different options. So nearest attempts to put the seam in the spot that you can least see it. Does a pretty good job, it's a little hit or miss, but it's not too bad. Then we can move to our aligned. So aligned puts the seam in the steepest corner, all right? And then we have back. So back is, as you would expect, it's gonna put the seam on the back. Does a pretty good job here, depending on the print that you want, of course, right? And then random randomizes the seams. It kind of, rather than having a single seam, will put it in a bunch of different places. And I'll show you that here very shortly. So one thing to remember is choose whichever you think may be your best option. When you slice, there is an option to display the seam. So if I look back on behind my ditto, I see where the seam is going to be. That will help you rather than 3D printing your object and then saying, wow, that seam placement sucked. So let's see what these look like. So I have 3D printed all four dittos. Now let's take a look at the print quality and specifically the seam. Where is the seam? So this is nearest. So nearest found where is most likely not to be seen there on the side was actually a very good choice. You can't see it. So that did a good job. Again, sometimes it's hit or miss. Aligned, ah, yeah, maybe that's the steepest part, but it's right in the front of the ditto. Not great. Not a big fan. Borderline unusable. I, I can't give this away. I can't use this with that seam there. So kick that out. We don't want that. Now we have back. So right here up front looks fantastic. Good print quality. And then we have the seam on the back. Still not too bad if mainly you're looking at it from the front, but if it's something that people are going to pick up, they're going to see that seam and it's not great. Now, this one may be really difficult to find and or really see in the camera, but it looks like Ditto has a bunch of almost like pimples. So I'm going to bring them kind of closer to the camera here. And you just see there is no seam, but there's a bunch of these little, I'm calling them pimples, but they look like printer defects. That is what's happening. It's randomizing that seam all across. So there is no actual seam on the print. However, the print quality takes a dive because you have all of these little pimples or imperfections. So ultimately, I mean, kind of worked, but if you want something with high print quality, that's just simply not going to work. So there is one other option actually that I wanna show you here very shortly. So I'll put this guy down and let me show you in Bamboo Studio what our other options are. So now I want to show you a setting in Bamboo called Seam Painting. So select your object and there's a little box right here. It is called Seam Painting. That was on the top toolbar there. You can adjust your brush size, your section area, all that stuff. So I'm going to just choose a random brush size here. And what you can do is draw where you want the seam to go. Now for demonstration purposes, I'm going to draw this all the way on Ditto's back. Realistically, you you wouldn't want this but again i just want to send print this have us take a look and see what this looks like after you actually draw your seam and send this to the printer so now i have 3d printed the ditto where i placed the seam and let's take a look here you can see that there is a seam on his back exactly where i put with seam painting let me bring this closer to the camera here. You can really see where that seam is. Again, you wouldn't actually want this, but remember this when you're doing 3D prints and maybe you want to put a seam somewhere specific. Hope this video helped. Thanks for watching.